Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Bible Illustrated Hands. Uh, today's question comes from uh, Brian Augustine. He asks, what is my opinion on the Catholic Saint Pius X? Uh, thank you for your question, Brian. Well, you know, uh, I hope that this does not turn into a what do I think of this or that Pope series. But uh, my opinion of Pius is, you know, good. Um, I mostly admire him for re-emphasizing uh, communion. You know, I think uh, that he was uh, probably one of the most instrumental people <clears throat> in the Catholic Church uh, for uh, frequent reception uh, of, of the Eucharist, which I think is a good thing. Um, I received also a question regarding the frequency of communion, but I'll address that later. Generally, I'm pro-frequent reception myself. Uh, I'll elaborate later on. But yeah, and uh, however, um, I think that uh, uh, Pius X falls a little bit into that dangerous territory of people with you know, toxic fandom. Uh, I specifically refer to his opposition to modernism, which, you know, by itself it's fine. Uh, it is a good thing. But uh, ever so often, uh, and quite often, um, you get people who are, so to speak, uh, I don't know if I can uh, fr uh, phrase it well, who are Catholics or Orthodox or Christian or whatever, not so much because of their love of Christ, but because uh, of their opposition to stuff, you know? Uh, people who are... Um, <laughs> I like to uh, joke, at least in Orthodoxy, that uh, people who, are ortho uh, who define Orthodoxy as not being a Catholic. So, I think the um, fans of Pius X... <laughs> can fall into that uh, uh, into that trap in orthodoxy in western orthodoxy it is usually fans of uh, uh, seraphim rose um, or mm, to a lesser extent a lot of russian saints um, especially saint john of kronstadt but that's that's just so to speak a personal preference you know that's pretty much it i i don't have much to add Bye.